hate puppies. Good podcast. I feel threatened. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House. Hope you guys are having a good uh, start to 2020. I know technically we already did that once, but this is really the first time we've recorded in 2020. Glad to uh, glad to have you guys with us. Hopefully, the uh, trend of listeners just going up and up continues. Yeah, skyrockets. It's it's interesting noticing a uh, a trend. It's a positive one for a change. So it must be time to quit. <laughs> that's, that's about how we'll do that. Oh, we're getting traction? Shut it down. Yep. Yeah. Shut it down. I'm done with this. We have the full crew in the house. All four of us Excellent. are here. Excellent. This is uh this is how 2020 is going to roll. Yeah. A Sunday afternoon. It had to happen. I uh unfortunately am on the road all week and then we've got the uh the annual ghetto ski trip coming up. Oh yeah. This week which is always always interesting. It's always a big less and trip. less ghetto. <laughs> so we're paying for that this year. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah. It's you okay. know every year people turn wanna, that shit off in my ear. You put that's uh, that's just the music. I know. I thought, <laughs> do you normally play for ten minutes? <laughs> well, it's only like a four minute song. Oh, so I don't I don't play it twice if that's what you're getting. At. <laughs> you get that little loop. <laughs> Jeez. Well, Ely's back. That's, Jesus. It's good to see. 2020 hasn't mm. softened you at all, I see. <laughs> I mean, no, for, but for real, if I've been gone that long, don't you normally fade it out like fucking 20 seconds in? Hey, don't you hear how low it is in the background? Uh, no, sounds bright and shiny. <laughs> That's perf- I'm kicking <laughs> ass right now. Am I crazy? No, he usually like abruptly stops it. Yeah, okay. I'm not crazy. This is a different year, though. He's I like he's it. He's spicing more. it up. Yeah. I can talk over this shit. Yeah, yeah it's just a, it's a very Fading. light bed of music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, since we don't pay Taylor for it, I can really let yeah. it run. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Taylor. We definitely appreciate the music. So, yeah, the, the, the ski trip every year, you know, we'd gotten to the point where it was so cheap, where we were we were all like 30 dudes packed into a giant. You know, and place. I will admit at least uh, I was one of the ones that was like, I'm fucking tired of spending $20 <laughs> on the room. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're grown-ups. We've got jobs. Can we get a fucking house with beds instead when of, I, like... When I met you guys, I used to hear tales of this ghetto ski trip and how awesome it was. And I've been invited every year, and I've never gone because about the time I met you guys is when... We stepped up. You stepped your game up. And in recent years, it's been stepped up every year now. So... Yeah. It didn't plateau. Yeah, we've gone from ghetto to bougie. <laughs> this this, yeah, exactly. this ski trip originally was that, though. It was like literally like five, six dudes crammed into a hotel room and then drive up to the ski resort yeah. and, and board. And then then there was a lodge I heard about that was like that was like Liberty, like, right? Yeah, yeah. Twenty, thirty bucks a head. Yeah. And like we used to high five because it was like 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Which is awesome. But like you could like play cornhole inside. Yes. Like I heard yeah. it was. I, and then when I heard that, I was like, oh, I'd be down. To, like, I don't board anymore. But I would just go on that trip because yeah. that would be fun. Well, so for years, that's what we did. It actually, we would stay at a trailer park, an honest-to-God trailer park, and it was a it was the banquet hall that the trailer park would rent out. Well, you could rent it out overnight. And so <laughs> I, would just, I would just rent the banquet hall for a couple of days, and then everyone would just be in there. So there, was, so there, there was, were no bedrooms, I guess? There were four bed. It was a giant banquet hall, and then they had put four bedrooms on it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But you still had people sleeping out in the bed. It was bad. It was <laughs> yeah. no. It's disgusting. It was like one shower, I think, for every. Yeah. Everybody. The shower is like a campsite shower. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. it's pretty like water would just piss on your head at best. And then people like Ely decided, no, 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 we should be stepping this up. Well, the original catalyst for this was one year what we referred to as Black Monday, the Monday leading up to the ski trip. Everybody but six dudes dropped out, and we had like twenty five confirmed that year. Everybody, and it was all legitimate reasons. Like, yeah, like somebody's like, I had a death in the family. Like yeah. my wife's in the hospital. Like it was crazy yeah. stuff. But it was just so weird because the phone just kept ringing all day, and it was like, Hey man, I got it. I can't do it. But since it was only like fifteen bucks a head, yeah, they were like, You can keep the money. I'm like, Oh, thanks a lot. Like, yeah, yeah. Stand up. <laughs> so we just never showed up that year. We pivoted. We went to snowshoe. Because why drive all that way and sleep in yeah. a massive trailer park by ourselves? So you, but you still rent it out the 
the yeah. lodge. We just paid them. Yeah. Because it was <laughs> 15 bucks a head. We were like, let's just not go. Right. Let's yeah. go somewhere else. That was the beginning of the change. Because I think when you organize a massive trip like this, every few years you do have to go through a change. Because it, it starts getting stale. People don't yeah. show up. Something changes. Something's different. So that was the year we started making it better. Better. In quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Air quotes. And... The accommodations were better. The accommodations were better, but the price skyrocketed. And that's kind of what we're dealing with this year is that guys like Sealy and we're, we're like, no, step up. You know, Ely's like, step up. Ely, you going this year? No. See, <laughs> and there is the problem. <laughs> yeah. All these guys who were like, step up, spend more, do more, aren't going. And we're getting stuck holding the bag. Like, there's a lot of dudes, not a lot of dudes, who are going, <laughs> who are spending a lot of money to sit in a place that's a, a shitty weekend. It's going to be like 60 degrees and raining. That, oh. yeah. Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck. So, Which is a total opposite of what it's been, because it, I don't think it, it was like zero the last two years we've gone. There was one year where the high was seven. Yeah. Like, Ouch. This was like two years ago. Literally, the high was seven. And it, it that was... I said the high. It lived yeah. in the sub right. zero temperature. Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was crazy. Stu, you having technical tr- trouble over there? Yeah, these things just keep going in and out of my ears. The uh, yeah, it's tough. It's well, tough. A couple years ago, you got scammed, right? Yeah, that was the first year of Black Monday. Oh okay. Yeah, I went up there. I found a really good deal on Craigslist that turned out to not be a legitimate deal. Oh uh, oh no. There were like like twelve groups that showed up. All looking for this one unit. That's hilarious. How does that work out? <laughs> like, do you think that dude ever got caught? Like, this scam was brilliant, dude. I, I remember, like, like it was they a sent good us one. the paperwork, and there was a watermark of the unit in the background on the paper. Like, it looked so good. And, but my spidey sense was going off the entire time. I was like, it's yeah. underpriced. Something's not right. Too good to be true. But yeah. and it turned out to be. But do you think people that do those scams get caught? This guy d- didn't. Yeah. Because it was overseas. They said they have no way to track it. They were like, we don't know what's going on here. I was like, oh, you oh. got got by someone overseas. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he even said, he, he said, uh, he said, yeah, when you get up there, call me. I'll meet you there. And if anyone goes to Snowshoe, you know, you don't have reception like the whole way up there. Yeah. And then when you get up there, there are certain Body spots best. you can like find it, you know. But the lo- we've talked about this before. But the locals seem to have this magic cell service that no one has. That they talk to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They've got like bumpkin cellular that no one knows about. All tell. It's pronounced blumpkin. Yeah, <laughs> blumpkin cellular. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. So back to this year, you got we how got many got, guys. How many guys you got going? We have ten guys in a place that sleeps twenty four. Whoa! <laughs> it's like so beds aren't a problem. Beds are not a problem. Be rotating. Fact, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push two kings together and sleep on a new a new sized bed. As you should. Because I for the money. It. But I I think I'm out. Like I'm I don't know that I want to do this anymore because I I've, I've been carrying this torch for years, setting it up, doing yeah. it. Yeah. Right. And it's like it's a you don't get any credit for setting up a big no, trip like not that. Not at all. No. You know, you're just the guy who has to stress about it. It's a pain in the ass, and then you can't get people to go, and then it's like. You you feel bad. You're like, hey guys, sorry, I fucked up, but I didn't fuck up. I found out that every time I've done something of this nature, the the what really makes my blood boil is when you do all the work and you front all the money, and then you go to your air quote friends and go, hey, can you pay me X amount of dollars that you agreed to pay because I did all this? And they're like, dude, why are you all over me? Yeah, it's a thankless <laughs> like, effort. You're like, bro, I just spent four grand. Yeah. <laughs> like, help me out. Did you have a count before you got this place? The count? Because I feel like we have done that in the past where you would get, yes. the count would be ahead of time, and then you book based on that, whereas now I feel like we're in a routine where we just book expecting to get all those people. We had going in enough people to, to get it to the dollar amount that we set it at, and now everyone has to come up with 50% more. So, the, a lot so you're of saying before you? Oh, really? So yeah, you've a lot had of people yeah, out. twelve people back out. We've had uh, whatever five, five people six. back out and ten are in. So we had fifteen confirmed. So you had ten, 10 actually you had, went. You had fifteen say for three hundred dollars. So you so you had three grand to play with. So you found a three grand place. No matter what it slept, you were gonna get. You were gonna spend that money. I mean, the math's off, that. but yeah. yeah, your logic is sound. Yeah. Like we were like, okay, we can pull this off. It's gonna cost more than it usually does. Yeah. And everyone was like, okay, well, as long as it's around that, we're fine. Joke's on you. It's 50% higher than that. Yeah. Oops. 
Mm. So it just sucks because now yeah. this. Yeah, that'll I think, be forty five hundred. Not. 30 I think grand. next year, I'm taking it back. Like either I'm gonna I'm gonna run the show and I'm gonna take it back to shit. Like yeah. where I know I can't get screwed. If somebody backs out, you can still. Yeah, or I'm gonna just step away. And then no one else will step up and do Someone's it. Someone's got to step up. I hope. We'll find out very soon. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back next week. We'll be talking about it was the best trip ever. I don't like but, snowboarding enough. Like I'd rather do it. I'd I'd rather do a guy's trip in the summer somewhere. I mean, that's always more fun to me. Yeah. Yeah. But just, as you get older, the more guys trips you have on the books going into a marriage. You yeah. Know, you well, can keep those. Yes. Yeah, so those, well, those we've have talked tenure. about that. Yeah. Like it's the, really important. And so. Even though it's a shitty winter trip where you freeze your balls off, you keep that on the calendar yeah, because you've done every it for year, 20 years. then the wife can't argue. You're like, yeah. no, we've been doing it forever. And but see, I'd like to start a new one, so I'm, I have to keep, get rid of one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But those that you brought into the marriage, you get to keep those. But you have to substitute if you want to add a new one, an annual new one. Yeah, you, like if you it, like, if we want to do a cool guy summer trip. The wife would have the ammo to say, "You already go on this winter trip." This. But to Ely's point, you have a chip. You can say, yeah, but I'm not going to go on that trip this year. Yeah, you know, words, if go I go on trip, whatever, trade. say four per year, because I do a golf trip. What the hell are all the trips? Camping. It used to be a camping yeah, trip. It used yeah. to be camping. Um, ski trips. Ski chip trip. That you get. Well, in the past few start years, a, there's been a uh, bachelor, bachelor party. party every year. Yeah. I want to start a SEMA trip. That would be fun. Yeah. I'm all every other that. year, because I think every year would be much I've been trying to get guys to go out Super Bowl weekend out to Phoenix for that golf trip, the Phoenix Open, where they literally take that par three and throw the stadium a around it. Yeah. And just <laughs> That's awesome. Go hard. Nice. So do they do that on Super Bowl weekend every it's year? Every Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl weekend. And for me, like, I don't – watching the Super Bowl, unless my team's in it, it's just an event that I'm going to drink at and eat a ton of food. But Super I mean, Bowl is all about food for me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and – to, believe me, if we were out there, we'd be eating like kings too. Hmm. Oh yeah, I just got angry again. As long as I've been on the show <laughs> on Uh-oh. Super Bowl weekend, we've bitched about the fact that it's on a Sunday, and, and we I always still here. I am. Yeah, yeah. I want to fucking punch that dude in the face. I don't understand. Especially that. when there's football on yesterday on a Saturday. Yep. So right, there's football Thursdays, Mondays. They do some Friday games too, right? Like, you can make it whenever you want. What's the reason? Someone's got to have the reason. What is it? Originally, it had to do, at least this is what I heard, originally it had to do with uh, college football, but that's irrelevant because there's no No, I'm saying, like, what's the reason right now? Because clearly there's people as smart as us within the NFL that have thought of this. Why would they not? Like, what is the reason to right now not do it? Just uh, it's History. I'll get to it. History. What do they have to gain? I would imagine you way more marketing on more a Saturday. More advertising, more, yeah. more viewership. But I don't, I don't know that. Like yeah, it's like do. the money would go to other organizations. Like if Budweiser is your sponsor, then people probably will buy more Budweiser. But it, like it's, it behooves more people are going to watch the on people Saturday, involved. Right? Yeah, but I don't know if they're. I don't think they're hurting for ratings. That does, the businesses don't work like that. It's not like it's oh, already, I've got enough, so I'm not going to try to get more. Every business would benefit by doing it on a Saturday night because I tend to agree. more parties, more everything. Well, we don't have to fucking take off work. Yeah, right. People don't have to like. I don't. It would change my whole thing because honestly, by halftime, I, yeah, you I, I'm check thinking out. about getting the hell out of wherever I am. Yeah, I'm like I don't want to be here anymore. Especially with late. all the halftime's what ten o'clock. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say that's late after all the you know horse and buggy shows like it the game goes on and on and on the other thing you could do is start the game earlier in the day yeah, a one o'clock game well and you have to be on the west coast yeah but those people suck <laughs> <laughs> right they yeah. already get perfect weather fuck them Dude, <laughs> if you did a one o'clock eastern game they're used to watching 10 o'clock games and all year long so yeah, wh- yeah. if they started 10 o'clock here i wouldn't ha- i wouldn't have a beef with it i just wouldn't i mean why not do it Saturday? Fuck the one o'clock. What's the reason it can't be Saturday? I don't get it. Because there's a fucking pool tournament on. Like no one gives a fuck. What is it? Baseball and basketball? No, it's it's basketball. Basketball's the only thing going on. But there's on. nothing it's really yeah. competing, it's right? Not, it's, and it's not like prime time. It's not like playoff basketball. It's mid season. Like well, it's there's literally nothing going on. It's there's one sporting event going on that weekend. Yeah, it's Daytona. Yeah, and that's Sunday early, which yeah. I like, but. 
Yeah, the same anyway. thing is uh, perfect. Give the redneck something on Sunday. I'll see y'all next yeah. year. I'll be talking about the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, it's, you get fired up every year. This is the earliest you've been angry about it, though. So something's working for you in 2020. Well, because we just <laughs> talked about it. As soon as it enters my earlobes. Well, it's the same thing with all the. I mean, the national championships Monday night at 8:15. Yeah, that's yeah. stupid too. I've never understood that one either. Yeah. And so is the and the final four. Yep. Two games on Saturday. Final four is on the final games on Monday evening. Yep. What the hell? Yeah. That logistically but, makes sense because you fly out to wherever the final four is and you play Saturday and you can't pack it up and leave, so you stay the night and have a couple days rest. So I get that, but the Super Bowl you have two weeks between your championship games. Yeah. It's d- in different cities yeah. all the time. Like it's no got to be just like tradition reasons. Yeah. Like they're like we've said Sundays Super Bowl Sunday for yeah. so long, yep. and Sundays exactly, are for Super yeah. Bowl. That's like yep. the mantra. Yep. That's why we can't change it, except for Monday nights and Thursday nights and yeah. Saturday. And Saturday logic, after. Now college. that you say that, though, there is a lot more you have to compete with on a Saturday. There's not really anything you have to compete with on a Sunday evening to late afternoon, except people that don't want to stay up and watch football. I'm just wondering if they've done the math. Like, there's enough competition for no, there's Saturday. Nothing what are you compete competing with on, on a Saturday? That's what I don't get. Just in general, kids kids got their games. Stupid shit's happening in your life. It's your Saturday. This just says Goodell, Goodell mentioned that audiences are simply more available on a Sunday night versus Saturday. So I disagree. That's a fair point. Like, I mean, Saturday you're doing stuff. That I can see that. Like you don't have friends, don't have parties on Saturdays. You but don't you're have just gonna shit ha- to go to. You're gonna make time for the Super Bowl. I mean, people I would, will... but they must have run the numbers and figured it out. Yeah, they must want people sitting around ready to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. There's no competition. You got church oh, in like the morning. You, like you've then... gone to. Oh, this weekend we're we're, we're going we're, to the wineries. We're, we're going to get a ski trip Friday, staying Saturday, yeah. staying Saturday night, coming back Sunday. I'm home at six o'clock. Yes, turn the Super Bowl on. Right. Okay. Instead, that yeah, exactly. You could sense. have some conflicting event on Saturday. It's yeah. The only thing I can think of. That's the only still re- dumb as shit. Short little paragraph he just said because I still think family audience. I still are think more the amazing. country would adjust and adapt. Yes. I love that Quickly. Stu has a full computer hooked up to a full screen. Yeah. He and he looked it up on his fucking phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is the computer jammed up? <laughs> no. No, I don't. I just, oh, okay. I, I I don't, just happened to I have a, it. <laughs> had a text yeah. come in and I was on my phone. Oh, okay, Stu, did you see that uh, Sharon Stone's on Bumble? She's in your I age group, right? I missed that opportunity. She's a she's ten years old. I heard she got kicked off or something. Good. Are you on Bumble? No, I'm not. I'm not on Bumble anymore. You don't. Why ride? not? So you did try Bumble for a minute. Yeah, and you didn't like it. No, I just <sighs> had too many apps. Couldn't keep them straight. It's exhausting. Trying uh, to yeah, keep track of <laughs> poor penis. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I> feel horrible. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> no, but I mean, you find yourself just wasting. All wore out all the time. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> you find yourself sitting there just scrolling, just looking, looking, I looking. I could see if like, you, like, had, like, six or eight apps on your phone. Like, you spent an hour on one. Yeah. You finally, like, yeah. all right, then you check off. Then you just, oh, there's another one. Let me get on this one for a so little what bit. So, what I came to find out about Bumble <laughs> is – a lot of people use it in the town that they're traveling in. Ah, uh, it's like not, salespeople. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's not necessarily. So that's good because then that's more of a hookup thing, right? Yeah, it's no, not like prone the, to hookups. The trick with Bumble is that it, the girl has to like you first yeah. before you have an opportunity to even reach out to the girl. Which I oh, so you can't be like. I'm interested in. See yeah, she, you can't just slide up in someone's DM. Yeah. She has to go. I dig you. And then you have the opportunity. Wouldn't to you enjoy that? that? that I like that. I I would love that. It Why? just makes it easier. Because then you know the girl's already interested. But you can do the same thing with you being able to ask, and she can say yes or no. Yeah, True. but it's it's uh, what they why they did it is it creates more of a safe haven for women where you're not just getting like a hey dick, baby a dick yeah. right. But I all I have to, but, right. But it's, you could easily set something up where it's like. I hit the heart button. She got a heart notification. That means this guy likes your profile. Oh, yeah. Like, if you like him, the, you can go yeah. say you like him. Right. Yes, yeah, so you're saying you words, can only just, send one thing. And that's yes, like, exactly. I'm interested. Yes. Without you can't send a your message. words, your, yes. your pictures. It, like, notifies them to look at your profile. That's, now, the three of us, does. Three of us shouldn't be talking about this. There might be. That might be. I don't know how any of them work. So yeah, there's <laughs> people out there that are like, it's, "That is the way yeah. it works, dumbass." <laughs> <laughs> it does work that way. Okay, yes. nice. 
Yeah, I guess we should have just asked Stu before we started <laughs> ranting. Right. This is what they should do. <laughs> Here's how three guys, you guys just guys create the it. app. We'll go with yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind Stu. Shut it. We're building. We're building an app over here. I got my own team. We're of fixing da- dating experts here. We're fixing all the world's problems. Exactly. You cri- tried the new Stooby Snacks app. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, no, there must be. Bumble created their platform. Because I guess at some point people are just getting dick pics or rando. Just a million. Guys, I guess. Yeah, that's called Tinder. I, I was gonna <laughs> say. Right. I guess a lot of guys just reach out to every girl. So imagine being a nine or ten on one of these apps. Like hundreds of messages coming well, your that's way. That's just it. All like, girls. Yeah. Girls are more selective, and guys are gonna do a war of attrition. Let's just hit yeah. everything and see yeah, what comes back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I it's like a sales it. game yeah. for guys. Yeah. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Can I do an export and send them all likes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's my <laughs> Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> exactly. <It's sent. laughs> yeah. I'm wearing the um, screen down on my uh, phone, just swiping all the time. Can you just like mass swipe? But my question, right? Let's no, dig we, into this a little. Go real, ahead. I'm sorry. Real quick, I was gonna say. Why are you if you're Sharon Stone? That's exactly where I was going. On but Bumble. That's, so that's why I'm thinking you should be on Bumble because if people like Sharon Stone are on Bumble. Looking for people like But they're me. not, though. <laughs> what I'm saying is they're not. Yeah. So but what, she uh, is. But we're saying that there's something up with her for her to do that. Like, why would she do that? She I got a wonder. rocker. Maybe I she wants a, a regular guy. She's thirsty. No. Then you would just go... Find a regular Walk guy. Walk down the street. I yes. guess. <laughs> yeah, just go to Arby's. The I feel like Ar- it has to be something with marketing, right? The whole Ar- the argument. They probably, Bumble probably paid her. No, because no, why would they have kicked her off? She went on there. The story is that she went on Bumble. She set up a profile. And then a couple people wrote in and they were like, hey, somebody's posing as Sharon Stone. They didn't well, believe that, When it was really her. That so they sense. removed her. And she was like, yo, are you being exclusionary? Like, I wanted to use Bumble. It is interesting because I could see, which tells me that she's awesome. Because she's like. These fucking celebrity douches I'm around all the time right. yeah. are in this world that I don't want to be in anymore. Not How tired. the fuck can I find a normal? Because there is that human celebrity being? app. Oh it's yeah, not the new. Uh, what's this Raya? There is one, and it's like you yeah. have to be a so, certain. Stu, you should get on that one. Level. Yeah. Hey, tell me where that TPH. <laughs> yeah, no, you were in yeah. Young Guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do a podcast, and if you remember a late '90s movie, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> fucking Chavez. <laughs> Dude, you should. Yeah. You should get that blue check next to your Twitter. Yeah. On ITPH. Yeah, but that is odd that she did that. I just wonder why. It really is weird. That's why that's why I saw it. It kind of like it, it threw me for a loop. It was like interesting that uh <laughs> <laughs> interesting. What that, is that, that ad that for Kevin there. Cosner and him finding true love? What the fuck? <laughs> With uh Spencer, Octavia Spencer. Oh, no. oh, that was Stu. awesome. We've lost Stu. Get your phone out. Uh, yep, no more Bumble for Stu. Apparently the production guy. So, try penis. So <laughs> was it, how is it left? She's on right now? Like she was like, hey, it really is. They had to they put, put her, her back, back on, on yeah, right? Yeah, now she's back on there. And it, it probably gave a lot of you know run for Bumble in general to have someone like that in there. But it's, doesn't she have issues, Sharon Stone? Yeah, I think I she's don't know. been a little on and off. Yeah, she doesn't wear undies when she wears dresses. We know that much. Which yeah. was so she's fantastic. cool in my yeah, book. <laughs> exactly. She checks all the boxes, too. Swipe right. <laughs> yeah. That's or heart emoji. Whatever, however shit works. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just send a little heart emoji there, Stu. You know how it works. It's, it's called the old uh, Ely, Ely trick. Yeah. yeah. All right. Works like I gotta a charm. Come, I got to come clean. Uh-oh. I left all of those online things. It was becoming a shit show. I left all of those things. I actually met somebody that I've enjoyed hanging out with. So, uh, so motherfucker, I'm calling you out right now. This just got you're boring. trying to sell it like you did it on perp. You did it because you found somebody, <laughs> not because they were becoming too much. No, there were some crazy ladies out I'm there. I'm not saying there weren't, <laughs> but you're at pretending saying. like <laughs> it's the reason you got off is because they're a headache. The reason you got off is because you found someone, and they're expensive. And you met them all. <laughs> just say, I found someone who's awesome, so I stopped using Did them. you meet that person through an app? <laughs> I did. So there you go. It works. Oh, then so what the you got to cancel yeah. the apps. Now he's acting all yeah, holier you do have to than cancel now. the apps. Now he's a whole. Right. I don't mess with those apps. Yes. <laughs> they they serve their purpose. I found someone at Applebee's. <laughs> we shared a sampler. Who would have thought the Applebee's app was the best dating site <laughs> I had? <laughs> uh, who knew? Exactly. Yeah. That's a great idea. Like, I fucking love Arby's. You love Arby's. Yeah. Let's go fucking meet up in an Arby's. That's right. <laughs> well, they got that one that's called Just Lunch. Well, it's that's so, a dating app. Really? Someone dating the other day just, was just lunch was was mentioning to me that technically any app 
can be used as a dating app if you're creepy enough to figure out how to manipulate it. It kind of makes sense. Like you could use the Applebee's app and like, dude, I know a couple that met playing words with friends. That well, really. the intent of the app has to matter, right? Yeah, yeah. Get, I mean, there has to be some kind of a chat or some way to like talk. Yeah. But if you if you do, like, I yeah, got a buddy exactly met what... his girlfriend on Craigslist by simply posting one time when like. Lincoln Park wasn't showing up, which they never show up to concerts anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was yeah. upset that that Chester had canceled a show, and like he just put a rant on Craigslist. He was like, "This is bo- why you would even do that." I'll never understand. Yeah. But he took the time to go on Craigslist to say, "I can't believe they canceled the show. I had my tickets. Fuck this. This sucks." And then people started commenting back. He started chatting with some girl. Boom. The night of the show, instead of being at a show, he w- took her yeah. out. And- Mutual hatred for Copper Pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I met a couple that uh, used to live in our neighborhood. They might still live there. Um, they met old school, like, AOL, like, in an AOL chat room. Like, he was living in Texas, and she was living up here, and she they chatted, 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 and then, sure as shit, she moved down there, and they got married and came back here. I remember those AOL chat rooms because on the left side of the screen, there was like 5,000 people talking at the same time. You oh, had to yeah. Wait, you had to wait for your response to come up yeah. <laughs> from the person you were trying to talk to. I had one of those. Like, I met – this is like, really early on in the internet. Uh-huh. And some – I had put something out in, like a, like, a forum. I was trying to figure out how these all work, and I put something there, and then, like, she hit me back. And then, like, we started talking, and then next thing you know – like we're emailing each other all the time and she's sending me pictures of her and everything. And I'm just like, holy shit, like this really worked. But she was in California and I was here and she was all like, well, when so I come you got to the- your car, she was like, when I come <laughs> to the East Coast, we should hang out. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to go down this road, but I definitely had one kind of on the hook. You're going to go down this road. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like that show Catfish. That's that's what yeah, I could have been the first catfish. That Can you believe that's still happening? Can you imagine? Like, people are like, some yeah. 50 year old dude shows yeah. up. Brendan's in high school. Yeah, hey. exactly. <laughs> yeah. This isn't what I expected, I'm but I'm open minded. Yeah, he's I'm wearing jean shorts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's here. I'm here to suck your toes. And some, <laughs> and some reefs. Oh, God. Dude, Stu. Stu sent me this article the other day. Some dude down in Florida. Of course. On, on Chris, yeah, of Florida, course. Florida, man. So it's Christmas Eve. He's laying in his in his bed asleep and someone had broken into his house to burgle him and i guess just couldn't <laughs> resist his toes sticking out from underneath the sheet i love the burglar's answer he said when he woke up and said what are you doing in my house he said i'm here to suck your toes <laughs> <laughs> like what other what answer is there right. <laughs> especially if you're caught with a toe in your mouth in someone else's yeah, home yeah exactly like there is no other answer be like oh i was looking for my contacts He's right. like, Santa Claus has gotten weird <laughs> these days. <laughs> a fight broke out, and during the struggle, the suspect tried to grab the victim's genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me! Was that fucking or fight? Yeah. Oh. I mean, how creepy is that to wake up and just there's some, some dude sucking your toes? Dude. What was that dude like? If you leave the lights out, you might be all right. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> that's After Stu said it, that was the first question I had. I was like... So imagine you're laying there in bed. You're single. Let's just start there. You're single. Yeah. It's Christmas Eve. You're laying in bed. Some sugar plums homeless, dancing through your some head. homeless, you know, ratty looking woman shows up. Well, this is dude on dude crime. This is dude <laughs> on dude. But I'm saying if in that moment some ratty looking like homeless woman shows up now. It, well, we could put her into the cute for a ratty. Yeah, homeless I was drug to say, addict. Let's make her like an eight. But she's but she's obviously weathered. Like she looks like I a don't six, give a fuck. I want to get to the question of would you let a hot chick suck your suck your toes? But I'm saying in the middle of the night, like you wake up and there's some random in your house. Okay. Now she's sucking on your toes. Okay. So she has broken into your home. Yep. She's totally nuts. Yep. She's obviously has bad intentions. You'd be. How do you know out. that? But she's sucking. Why she, she broke in, She broke into your home. Maybe she just loves just toes. Just to suck your toes, like yeah. this guy. That, said. I mean, he's <laughs> telling you what he's there for. I mean, all right, so I, we I all li- agree. I leave my window cracked just at the opportunity. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so, dangling yeah. your foot out of the window all the time? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we all agree. If a dude comes in sucking your toes, you get in a fight. He grabs your genitals. The whole thing goes you down. Finish? Just like this. Hold on. Wait. Yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> you finish. If you wake up and there's a homeless, somewhat cute woman at the edge of your bed, she's sucking on your toes. What is your reaction? Fear. Uh, I would be like, what in the holy hell is going on here? Yeah. 
I just <laughs> without removing your foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, I'm just trying to think. I feel like if foot. Uh, the, the, my wife or a smoking hot chick was sucking my toes, I'd be like, this is fucking weird. Get your fucking oh, mouth off my toes. That's yeah. the thing. It's totally weird. And this person has broken into your home. And what they're into is something that I'd never even considered as a thing. But in the moment, it is but Christmas. But you know it's yeah. a thing. I'm tired. Did you get down the chimney? How'd you get in here? <laughs> There's someone <laughs> sucking your toes. You're single. I mean, it's like, do you just kind of let it play out for a little bit and see where this goes? Or do say. you immediately like reel back and kick her in the face and be like, you're in my house? I'm thinking that if you're asleep, you're going to just instinctually roundhouse kick whoever's down there. Like, yeah. You're going to be like, mm. what in the hell is going on? I just... I'm going to jump up and be like, who the fuck are you? What are you yeah, doing yeah. in here? So you immediately... the the That's not my penis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so the objective is to get them out of the house as quickly as possible. You'd have a little, little slower reaction time if it were. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Move, yeah. move north. In a few minutes, I'm going to ask you some questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I've never done this, but if my toe finishes, you can stay. <laughs> That's right. Question one, are you free next weekend? Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave the window cracked. How do you know when I'm done? I mean, this person's a serious problem. They're in your home sucking yeah. your toes. There's got to be a little part of you, though, that's like, what's your name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your sign? You'll know I'm yeah. done when my toenail and pops it, off. It also depends on how threatened you feel. Like, if it's a chick, I'm going to be less inclined yeah. to be like yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a roundhouse kicking She's holding you. a butcher's knife. Yeah. Going to ramp back up. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, this is a uh, this is a yeah. homeless woman who used to look good, you can tell, but the meth sores on her Weathered. face say she's seen better yeah. days. Yeah, I don't which know is entirely really... possible in Florida. Oh, absolutely, yeah, for yeah. sure. I just wonder if part of me would be like, "There's nobody here, nobody knows." <laughs> like, <laughs> why don't you stay? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, you've got at least seven. She's, to she's eight. gonna rob you. You've got <laughs> at least seven to eight minutes before the cops show up. <laughs> So you might as well let it go ahead and see what happens. So you're saying you may try to talk her into moving up north. I just don't know how I would react in the moment if I was single laying there in bed. I'm, a, I'm, I got I'm saying some... you're saying there's a chance you may talk her into trying to move to the Packer. I think I'm going to try to assess Play very quickly, check. figure out if she's a <laughs> if she's a problem. Yeah. And if I feel comfortable, man, maybe, right. maybe, you just, yeah. maybe you just... I've got some stick. hot pockets. So if you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take care of me, I might find you some meth. I don't know. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just a weird situation. Well, I've never could you assume, considered. Could you assume since she's into the... Said lady's into your toes, she's going to be into maybe some more... Kinky yeah, stuff she's that's yeah so this is just the route. tip of the iceberg. You're like, so <laughs> that's right. You got to tr- you got to figure it out. <laughs> but is what gets her off, you know, harvesting your kidneys? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> like this is, I feel like that's a <laughs> risk you got to take, man. Yeah. yeah. This. So there's part of you that might entertain this for a little bit. No. Okay. Not, no part at all. <laughs> nah. The middle of the night in my house sucking my much. toes. Too much. It's too much. It fit, like I'm trying to. Th- all right. Here. You, you Here's for, a better question. You forget okay. you're sleeping because right, like, yeah. Home, oh, I like, know. I'm panicked like, in that moment. I'm family That's member. Why. Family members get killed by startling people awake. <laughs> like it's not. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. The real better question is, what do you do if you're in the middle of sleeping and it's Kate Upton? She still broke into your home. She's still ridiculously crazy. Okay, we see, and that's why I was getting at there's the gross person, because I'm probably... But no, because we're all going to do the same thing with the gross person. Yeah, get like, out. Why the fuck are you in my house sucking my toes? Yeah, we're all going to do the same okay. if it's Kate Upton. No. You're, you're not I mean, gonna you're still going to... What are you going to do? <laughs> you're going to want to know why she's there, but you may be less worried about it right away. Be like, let's get a glass of milk and talk through this. Yeah. <laughs> like, you seem like you've had a rough night. Like... I don't know what what your what well, Berlander what did to you. Mat- if matters. it's any way, shape, or form like Kate Upton, you just don't interrupt. You just let her I don't do know, her thing, so and then like, you say, "What's going okay, on?" Okay, so where's sucking the line? my toes is weird to me. I don't give a fuck how hot you are. Especially, oh, see, okay, so yeah. I have a line. I'm I'm certain of it. Like now, let me, let me rephrase. So like like letting you do it and saying it's weird are two different things. Yes, like I may let you keep going, but yeah. I still think you're fucking weird for thinking that that's cool. If it's a nine or a ten at the end of that bed in the middle of the night, and I wake up and you're sucking my toes, you're spending the night. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but what? If, yeah, but you don't know. She could be like, "I'm not into fucking. I just like toe sucking." Uh, just strange enough. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> I'm gonna watch TV. Don't have some clean ass toes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch TV, and you just do whatever you. Do. I'm not into this. 
but you took all the time to my pick dogs the lock. are gonna feel good by yeah. the morning but if it's like a seven now we're really having to like assess the situation six down you gotta go i'm calling the cops immediately yeah yeah because it's I'm weird just, i'm just working through my mental because yeah once you get to a certain <laughs> that's a at certain number it's weird above a certain number you're clever for getting into my house <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So glad yeah. you can, so glad this you can is make ingenuity. it. Ingenuity. <laughs> you are really yeah. She really wanted my toes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, like, what have you been through? Let's talk. Yeah. I don't know. She this may be a pro locksmith. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's good to have one of them on speed dial. Yeah. Right. Right, hon? <laughs> right. Yeah. We've been together ever since. Yeah. Oh, I got a locksmith. Call call Toe Suckers Locksmith. They're yeah. the best. The best I do. Man, maybe okay, it was so a marketing ploy. He just <laughs> Healy just said something that kind of made me think. Same scenario. Seven or higher, but your wife laying beside you. <laughs> oh, they got to go. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've entered into a whole other thing. All right, what if there's a 10 she's sucking on your wife's toes? Then you I, wake up. Do you calm your wife down, or do you join yeah. her in screaming? I reach for I the... I ask the wife if we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I, just say, I, re- I reach for the Polaroid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. You don't ask if we're doing it. You say, we're doing this, right? That's right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I agree. This is weird. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to sit in the corner for a Christmas minute. Christmas miracles do come true. <laughs> yeah. This only happens once. <laughs> ah, Santa was off by the by one toe, but <laughs> that is what I wanted. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. My big toe. <laughs> Dude, the whole thing is mad creepy. That is I mean, weird. Someone being in your house. When I was a kid once, I remember I, I went down in our basement. And the lights were out down there, and like I was going down to get something. My mom was always sending me down to get something out of the basement. I go down in the basement, and I came around a corner. Keep in mind, pitch black basement. I turn a corner. There's a dude in our basement staring at me. Like I can see his silhouette. Wow. Like so, I'm dude, down. That'll there. freak you the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. That's that was the last time shits. Brendan went down to the basement. <laughs> yeah. No shit. So I'm like, I'm probably like 16 years old. So I'm oh. like, you know, at 16, you do have kind of like. Adolescent strength. Like yeah. you could, if the fight breaks out, you got a shot. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> but this dude was in my house and like just standing there, and I just froze. Well, when you come around the house you live in now, and your wife's standing there, and you're not expecting her home, that like freaks you, you out. You're like, oh my god, what was yeah. that? But yeah. I knew everybody was upstairs. Yeah. There's no other dudes in the house. I go downstairs. There's a dude standing there. Fortunately, he panicked and ran away instead of running towards was there, there he was had a, broken the back door or something yeah the back door was still basement. wide open uh, he had come in the basement i don't know if he was going to be coming up the stairs or if he was just trying to rummage through the yeah, basement no. i don't know what i he was wasn't coming up the stairs because he wouldn't have run yeah yeah so he was just trying to steal yeah. Something. something yeah yeah but he panicked he went running out you went back up the stairs i would like to say i chased him but by chasing him i mean i scurried up the stairs yeah. with shit in my pants yeah <laughs> freaked out <laughs> And I was just like, Mom, there's someone in the basement, you know? Dude, like, that would have freaked. Everybody hell, hates the yeah. basement as a kid going yeah. down there. Was it dark? Yeah. Yeah, it was dark. It wasn't like, oh, a, it wasn't like a finished basement. No, we had an unfinished yeah. basement. Yeah. And like some of a horror movie. Yes. And the lights. <laughs> Not like now to the, in today's world where like you go to the basement. It's like, finished, you know, all little kids flip TV. the light and they run up the stairs. Yeah. It's like you're justifying all of their concerns. <laughs> all of it. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it was just dark enough that I just saw him turn and, and it was still just like the the silhouette it wasn't like i yeah, couldn't yeah. make him so, out in a lineup you tried to make out <laughs> yeah so i grabbed his toe i stuck his toe in my mouth and that stunned him yeah it did because i'd learned that trick from a homeless guy yeah. when i was a little younger right yeah. so we all have those uh like vivid kid memories of something i mean granted you were a little 16 but i have this one memory that's you're still a funny. kid at 16 yeah fucking i was seven years old and my parents for christmas had got me one of those big blow up punching buddies yeah you know it's filled uh-huh. with sand on the bottom yeah you punch it it stands back up yeah yeah and the weevil all, wobble kind of like that going to bed fell asleep baton rouge got a box fan blowing and i wake up in the middle of the night it's pitch black and i that can't see that makes him anything. the wealthiest person and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh you had ac <laughs> a box fan Jeez. yeah so this damn Bougie boxing buddy the fans making it go like this like sway yeah. and i woke up <laughs> In the middle of the night, see, I was like, there's fucking somebody in my room. Yeah. Freaked out. Didn't go back. I didn't get up. And you were 16? I just, no, I was seven. seven. <laughs> yeah. I, like I that. just oh, sat there in my bed, and I just crazy. distinctly remember not going to sleep, freaking out until, like, oh, the sun came up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I felt so dumb. <laughs> the next morning, it's just a big yeah. clown. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, and I moved him out of the room. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Do you remember though? Did you, anyone ever see the movie Magic? Do you remember uh, that? It was a movie about a, no. a marionette, a marionette puppet uh-huh. you know, mm-hmm. like, that came to life, or it's ventriloquist dummy. Sorry, uh-huh. it's ventriloquist dummy that then came to life. Was it, a, was it a horror movie? Yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking. I think I vaguely so remember that. My brother, in his in his infinite wisdom, went out and got the ventriloquist dummy from the movie Magic. And like thought it was hilarious, and he would put and it. He was right. <laughs> yes. So yeah. what he would do is he would put it in different places throughout the house because I saw the movie, and I was scared shitless. So he would like put it in the basement on a shelf. That's yes. I've oh seen yeah, it. that kind of looks familiar. <laughs> so he would put he would put the damn thing like in the basement on the shelf, or like put it in my closet. It was on your the first shelf elf on the shelf. Looking. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a little different. Yeah. It, Look at Anthony Hopkins. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, scared the bejesus out of me. And I never knew where that damn ventriloquist dummy was going to yeah. be. And it was <laughs> always just, all of a sudden you wake up and the bitch is on the end of your bed. Yeah. It wasn't there crazy. when you went to bed. Yeah, he used to pull all kinds of shit. One night he slept under, he laid under my bed for like an hour waiting for me to go to bed. I dude. didn't know this. So he's laying under there. I finally go to bed. And then he waits another like 20 minutes before he starts violently shaking the bed. Like there's an. <laughs> oh, oven. my God. And I'm just screaming and crying. Like, that oh, my awesome. God. Like, I think fucking poltergeist, you know? <laughs> yeah. And my mom comes running in. She's like, what's happening? And the bed's just jumping. And then he just rolls out laughing and runs past her. That I was is like, great. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to get him. <laughs> yeah. Brothers. I jump yeah. out and scare my kids all the time. Do you? Oh, yeah. I'll hide in their bed. Like, they'll be brushing their teeth, and I'll slide up in the bed and yeah. pull the covers over me. They they don't like it. No. But I sure. think it's hilarious. Yeah, me too. Scaring kids is fun. <laughs> it's, a good, it's, it's good for the heart. <laughs> no, it's actually not. Quite, quite horrible. They're better off I don't like being that. scared. I don't like haunted houses and that stuff. Haunted houses don't really freak me out. Just because I know. Yeah, you know it's... Fake. A dude standing in my basement. That's yeah. that'll shut you down for a while. Or waking up oh, to yeah. a toe sucker. Yeah. Right. Either the more way. I think about it, I think I'd be panicked. I don't know that yeah, I could get would. involved. <laughs> like the ten the the, the, the Kate Upton really throws me for a loop. Because that <laughs> that is an odd that's an that's odd That's an odd bird. Yeah. Especially she's talking normal and like coherent. Yeah, yeah, coherent and making sense. She calls you by name. Yeah. Oh like, God. <laughs> Drops your social security number on you. This is going great. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll do it. Stu, I see you pulled up the uh the new Belgian brewing up there. I, I took a guess at the timing. Yeah, it's been forty five minutes. We're uh we're into a uh, beer tasting mm-hmm. time, huh? I think so, which means Ely's gonna lean over and start. Time eating for peanut butter pretzels. pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is the uh, beer? Down would, by it, me? It would be in there. Nice. This is the New Belgian Nitro Cold Brew Cream Ale, which I I thought sounded really interesting because usually they make these coffee beers out of stouts and porters, and they did this one out of a cream ale. So figured I would give it a shot. Hmm. And it's New Belgian, which I always think is good. Now, I hope these are cold because I've... They're quite cold. They are. Yeah, feel quite news. cold. Because I have just left these in a Yeti that had no ice in it. Works every time, right? Apparently. <laughs> apparently it did. This should be interesting, though. <clears throat> coffee. And they're using that, uh, what's the name of the coffee? High Brew Coffee. They're, they do a lot of the. Um, Smells very coffee-like. Does it reek of coffee? Yep. Yes, it does. Yeah, they use that High Brew Coffee. They're, they make those, like, iced coffees you can pick up and, like, 7-Eleven. So Sheets real quick, are any of you guys an iced coffee guy? No, I, I was just thinking. Like, I don't, we're on the same wavelength today. I don't. Not like, at all. I, don't I like I, that shit. Coffee's supposed to be hot, period. Yeah, totally agree. Just curious. You don't see any redeeming time for like, oh, I would like an iced coffee? Never. I don't think I, I like them. Because I can always say I'd rather have cold milk or I'd rather have a cold water. Well, that I do like iced coffee. Tastes. I like the 7-Eleven super sweet on a hot day. Dude, that tastes like coffee. All right, let's try this. Like that tastes a lot like ice cream. I don't think I've ever had a coffee beer that I've liked. Yeah. They it it's something they keep trying to do and I just don't know that anyone's gotten it right. I remember last year we tried the Duncan one that they did yeah. with Harpoon Brewery. And I, I think that was an abject flop. 
like for all of us, we hated it. And then I had somebody bring over a six pack of it not too long ago. Like, you're going to love this. It was like, you didn't hear that episode. Yeah, I just don't. <laughs> To, to Ely's point, like you got any sweet I, and low. If I want to drink beer, I want to drink beer, and I don't. Not to say I don't like fla- some flavorings of beer, but coffee and beer just to me don't need to go together. Yeah, this tastes like an iced coffee, and I'd rather just have an iced coffee. <clears throat> yeah, not to bury it, but I mean that tastes a lot like iced coffee. I don't taste much in the way of beer there. It's very. It's, it's the nitro makes it flat. I guess too. It's not. There's no, yeah, it's yeah, not it's, carbonated. They call it soft. Yeah, but yes, I mean it's it's definitely like smooth. One hundred percent, it's smooth. It's got a good flavor. It's very acidic, bitter. Yeah, like coffee. Yeah, but not because of uh, hops. Hand me the shot glass. Yeah, that shot glass looks clean. It doesn't say I'm. Gonna, I didn't say I was going to drink out of it. Oh, you're just getting a color? Does it look like coffee? Yep, looks like coffee. Yeah, cream ale's usually... Well, okay. No, that's about bad. right. It's dark, but you can almost see through it. It looks like a brown ale. Yeah. Well, Stu, what do you think of the marketing on that? <clears throat> we'll start there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's... Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're not off to a you good start. I mean, it's nitro. Five percent. Yeah, nitro cold brew. I mean, we got the name on there, but half the other stuff you can't even read. Up next series, high brew coffee, small. I mean, they got a few sprinklings of coffee beans, but all in all, I give this a, I give it a two. Oof. I'm not even. A, that I just is don't. a low score. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with Stu. I don't. This doesn't taste really like a beer, and it's not that good of a nice coffee. I'm, so I, I give it. Even, a, I can't think. I'm sorry. I give it a two as well. I mean, it's just I don't. What I find interesting about this beer, I'm trying to find the the positive in it, because it's not, it's not disagreeable. No, by any by any means. Like I don't think this is gross. I just don't see when I would but say I, pass me one of those. That's exactly. I was say what's, yeah, that's what's the, the what's the occasion I'm going to want to drink this? It's Nine a.m. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think that's the occasion. <laughs> not even not even. That I'm looking for a That's buzz. That's when I drink nine- coffee. Yeah. Yeah, and this is this is for the alcoholics who. That's what I was going to say. Like <laughs> coffee. You pour yeah. one of these in your sweet coffee. I mean, or I you- guess you could walk around the house and it wouldn't. You wouldn't. Know, you pour it in glass. T- it's it's it really tastes a lot like an iced coffee that you would go pick up at Seven Eleven, like one of those yep. Starbucks ones in a bottle, or obviously the high high brew coffee. It definitely tastes like coffee, bitter. It's smoother than an iced coffee in some respects. That's probably the nitro, but it doesn't taste like it's like a sweet coffee. It's more like a black coffee. Yeah. I kind of like that. The only sweetness you're getting from it is actually from the beer, but the beer is totally understated. If you handed this to somebody and told them it was an iced coffee, they they believe you. Yeah, they'd be like, it's an odd iced coffee. If you poured this in a glass of rice and you asked somebody what it was, everyone would say it's a nice coffee and not a beer. No we one should we should beer. keep these for the next time Taylor Carson's in here and just throw take him off the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, Taylor. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's I think if you're looking for a coffee beer, this does a very good job. This may be the best coffee beer I've had. True. So if it's on the coffee it's beer boozy. scale, it's a three and a half. You put it on the beer scale i'm gonna give it a two and a half it's right down the middle i could drink it i would never go out of my way to get it but i could see myself if i was at the brewery and they had it and maybe i'd mix one in at some point so I i'll give see, it a two and a half i could see alcoholics drinking this at yeah, work. first thing in, yeah yeah like you could pour this in a 7-eleven coffee cup and just walk around you don't have boozy breath like it's just you got coffee breath yeah. which is worse yes there's only there's only a couple things worse than booze. But you're hiding your alcoholism. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well, we've got a two, a two, a two and a half. Ely would take yeah, you back I'm to right Congress. The, <laughs> yeah, I'm right in the same realm. Two, I think. I'm not a coffee beer person. But I agree with what you said. It's smooth. Yeah, it's all bad. Um, it's, the taste isn't horrible I, as far as a coffee beer goes. I just don't like a coffee beer. Yeah, no We're interest. never going to find one that gets a deli. I'm, I'm starting to come to that conclusion because this is – I think this is the third time we've tried to do it, and I think yeah. this is the third time that we've come I in. I think if this were sweeter, it would be better. You know what they should do? 
is is if you added that lactose, lactose made yep. it gave it that milky sweetness that mm-hmm. might might make it more enjoyable. I think that's what they were trying to do with the cream ale was yeah. give it some yeah. of that. Usually it has that the cream ales do. Yeah, that's uh look it's a perfectly fine beer. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody though unless they hate beer and love coffee. Yeah. Yeah, Which I is think recovering it's, alcoholics. I mean, <laughs> that's not a great. <laughs> I do think having it on the nitrogen makes it b- much better. Yeah, yeah, that was the right. Had, move. If it had a bunch of kick to it, as far as um, carbonation, it wouldn't be as good. Yeah, it wouldn't no. be right. No, but think about how sad that is that it wouldn't be as good. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it already wasn't that good. I mean, I don't know if I want to warm it up, and put it in a coffee mug. Maybe if maybe girls, you should. I think you should. <laughs> maybe girls or certain guys who don't like beer would like it that actually like coffee i question Possibly. if my wife would like it's an this. alcoholic coffee because she hates she hates beer yeah and loves coffee so yeah she's she, probably the market i'll have to send one her way that and alcoholics <laughs> she checks all the boxes <laughs> <laughs> i might have to send one in there that also would be helpful considering i'm going to come walking in on a sunday afternoon smelling like beer so if i have a beer for her yeah then there we've leveled the playing. Don't field. you always walk in on a Sunday afternoon smelling like beer? Only during football season. So literally, when it's not football season, I when don't it drink. Is, on Sundays. So the last, yeah, okay. But so like, I don't drink beer on Sundays because I actually, I hate being foggy on Monday for work. I can't stand it. Yeah, it's no good. And unfortunately, with the way football is being on Sundays, I tend to be foggy yeah. on Mondays. But what I do is I, on like a Friday or a Saturday, I drink late at night i don't really drink during the day so much i drink at night sunday's the only day i drink during the day what the fuck because that's early when football day. so i do stop drinking early too yeah you know hydrate and go to bed yeah but yeah today today i wasn't going to be drinking then we did a podcast what's the cost on this uh if i if i recall it was in that just shy of 10, 10 to 12 yeah just shy of 10 i think it was for six or four for six i nah, uh, six yeah Gotcha. So it's a it's a pricey beer for what you're getting. Unfortunately, it's not uh, uh, not great. No, not great. I would not. Well, if it smells a, bad, I can I can spray a little of this hair freshener here. Do not spray do that not, in here. Oh, it's a can of Ely. I, oh, can you <laughs> smell this for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it smell? Do, don't don't spray that. I don't think it smells. I didn't it think smells it's, like baby farts. First, I didn't think it doesn't smell like, like doesn't smell like farts that I normally let rip. No, it smells like horse crap to me. Yes, yes. that's exactly what it smells yeah. like. So, a little bottle of spray. Fart. My sister said, "Hey, I'm I'm sending a, a Christmas gift to the girls who lives across the country." <laughs> yeah, and so, nice. but she says she says, "Hey, I don't want you to uh, be there. I don't want you and your wife to be there when they open it because it's it's for them." And so immediately my spidey sense is going off. Like, yeah. What exactly have you have you sent them? But I honored her wishes. And that's your fault. My sister sent fart to go a bottle of ass. <laughs> that's what it says. That's <laughs> awesome. I like that marketing, Stu. <laughs> literally a says. A literally bottle says, of ass. But what is it? <laughs> yeah. We'll it literally know. says bottle of ass on it. And oh, my God. my. Eight and ten year old yeah. got a, got a Christmas gift from my sister. Says bottle of ass. Did they open it and squirt the shit out of it, dude? So <laughs> immediately, I love where this is going. Yeah. would you like to know the name of the company? Uh, yes, yes, I would. Gagster, nice. <laughs> Jed, that's, yeah. that's, that's funny. That reminds too. That reminds me of a guy who snuck into my house in Florida. <laughs> yeah. So my sister sends this this fart to go bottle of ass. To my kids and they each get they each get one and immediately they're like oh my god this is hilarious like they're so excited so uh, b- uh, break it down you they got the gift and you let them go in another room i guess oh it's worse because no you didn't want we'd you, been traveling back from being the future being out, <laughs> yeah, being out of town for a couple days like doing our christmas tour through northern virginia and everything so we get back. Everybody's tired. There's a package. I open it. It's like, oh, this is from my sister. Here you go. And so they they open it in private. We're like moving in all the stuff. Like this is a hectic and exhausting moment in time to begin with. Yeah. 
my wife leaves, thank God, because my kids would, <laughs> she has to leave and go do, like, one quick errand. Yeah. My oldest daughter takes this shit. My wife had just purchased, or, or for, for Christmas, had just received this, like, new blanket. It's, like, all, like, Sherpa-lined. Yeah, it It's is. got, like, oh, this no. high-end, oh, like, no. stuff. And my wife had just brought it in, and she drapes it over a chair in the kitchen. And she's like, all right, this is great. I'm going to go run this errand. My daughter She's ready comes to come in. home and snuggle up and watch a movie in that blanket. Like. My daughter comes in, pulls this out, and she's like, hey, Dad. Psh, psh, two big old pumps. Dude, pumps it directly onto my wife's new blanket. Like, oh, no. <laughs> directly onto the blanket. The whole house smells like a barn. Like, Damn. instantly. I'm like, oh, what is that? And I look at it, you know, bottle of ass. Like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not mad that you sprayed it in the house because I get the joke, but you just sprayed mom's new blanket. Yeah. She's going to kill you. Is she going to get the joke? <laughs> no. Yeah. My, dude, she will not. My wife does not have a sense of humor about that stuff. So I agree with her. I wait for the, the whole thing to dissipate, which takes like five to ten minutes. And then I grab the blanket and smell it. Dude. Like you'd been on a horse Poop. for 10 years. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was like, you got to put that in the wash immediately or you're never leaving your room. Like you're a dead woman yeah, walking. Yeah. So fortunately, she washed it and got it cleaned up. But this stuff is unbelievable. I mean, you smelled that. It burns your nostrils. So did the wife know at all? I explained to her what had happened after the problem had been fixed. I find oftentimes it's better to fix the problem than mm-hmm. let, let it be known that there was a problem. Yeah. So I was like, hey, I would, I'm washing your new blanket. <laughs> I would kill a sibling or anyone if they sent my kids that shit. Dude, it's, it's... How pissed are you at your sister? I get it. I get the joke. Yeah, I wouldn't be pissed. I wasn't mad. You can't... You don't need your 18 year old seeing bottles that say bottle of ass on it. Like, you wouldn't buy that for oh, your kids. Oh, yeah, I wasn't psyched about the... But fart to go is the big words. I think that's what they saw. It's underneath it that it says bottle of ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Secondary. That stuff is unbelievable, though. I feel like that's what uncles are supposed to do, and aunts. Yeah, I mean, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't mad at it. I was like, I get the joke, but I did tell the girls, I said, you can't spray this in the house anymore. That is saved for when somebody does something bad yeah. like in your yeah. circle of friends. What you need to do is spray it on them before they go to school without them knowing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. On their backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Instead of, like, shiving them when you walk by, and yeah. you spray them right in the chest. Exactly. Stuff. But what they have is effectively their first weapon. Like, this, yeah. is, this is their first, like, they can, they can go into battle with this. They can shut down an argument or a fight yeah. quickly. So my wife was like, throw that stuff out. I was like, nah. They may need that. <laughs> it's like, there's going to be a sleepover that goes wrong. You want to have mm. they, you want them to have that in their arsenal. Or what if someone wakes up? They're sucking yeah. on your toes. Right. <laughs> Boom. Oh yeah. Done. Gone. It's toe sucker repellent. I just shit myself. <laughs> right. Yeah, that reminds me uh, when I had my Monte Carlo. My brother, one winter, dead fish took his my oldest niece took the diaper that she had just unloaded in this is probably when she was you know a year year and a half old. oh no and he stuck it underneath my driver's seat and in my monte carlo there's 86 the floorboard heat is pretty powerful and it comes off right off the transmission hump and goes right down underneath the seats so oh God. Uh, <laughs> a couple of weeks go by and i'm in the weeks. winter yeah well two weeks went by as i'm starting my car and i keep getting the smell in the winter time Comes and comes and goes, comes and goes, and I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" And I can't, can't, I, I don't know where the smell is coming from. Yeah. But obviously, it's like it's just there, and it's, it's not there when I get in the car because it's cold. You don't smell it, and then you turn a heater yep. on, and then, and then it starts, it starts cranking up. Oh. Yeah, it so starts like thawing two, out the dookie. Two weeks later, my brother calls me up. He's like, "Did you get your present?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "I shoved oh. one of Kaylee's diapers under your car." Nice. <laughs> like, Damn it! Looked under there. It was uh, two never, week never, old baby diaper. Oh, that's yeah, next it level. was the worst smell. I could Heated up, out. cooled off, heated up, right. frozen. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Dude, was that was that Monte Carlo a stick shift or automatic? It was an automatic, automatic. Um, and it was a custom order because it was on the column and not in the middle. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> yeah. That's so I had a true 60-40 bench front seat. Oh, so in order to have the true bench, you can't have the shifter there. Right. Got it. Interesting. Because otherwise uh, you'd have captain's chair. It was just it was making me think about it because 
I saw that in 2018, 2% of all cars sold in the U.S. had a manual transmission. Like, the it's funny you bring this up. I was talking about this the other night with people. The stick shift is, is gone. Go, it's done. Yeah. It's unbelievable. The Even new GT500 is the first time that a Mustang has ever been made with no manual option. The it's new not Cor- even an option? No. The wow. new Corvette doesn't have the option for yeah. stick shift. That's it's right. It's only automatic. Damn. So and those are the last vestiges. So if you go online right now and you look in a, at cars um, on whatever app you want to use and you look up manual cars that you want to buy that are, I would call them sports cars, your options are super limited. You may have like Mustangs, Camaros, Challengers, BMW Miatas. M3s. I was looking at stuff six cylinder and up. I don't look at that shit. Oh, I just thought we were talking about sports cars. We were. That's why I said. Six cylinder enough. I feel like there's a breakdown here. I'm 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 confused. Yeah, it's only the greatest sports car of all time. Okay. Well, this is it's it's funny Except you bring that up because now you can't get a stick shift in any two percent two percent of all cars. Yeah. The Miata last year, seventy six percent of them were purchased with manual transmission. That makes total sense. Right. But so truly, if we're using the stick shift as like the barometer of like. Someone who wants to feel the driving experience. Yes. The Miata buyer yeah. is actually the last like vestige of of, of true sports car driver. Because uh, they're buying a stick shift. I don't know. Seventy six percent. Seventy six percent of people that like to go slow. <laughs> That's how I see that. The the new Miata is faster. But I, I tend to a agree with fucking you. No. Civic. I, I understand clearly, but I'm just saying that those people are actually they're still tapped into that old kind of mentality of I want to shift my gears. Yeah. yeah. And when a car is slower, let's be honest, it's a whole lot more fun if it's a yeah, slow yeah. automatic and a slow stick shift. But I mean, Ely's right. It's a lot more enjoyable in sticks. I mean, I'm just took a quick peek, but Nissan, BMW, Ford, a couple Civics, and the 370Z. Yeah. So well, if, the 370Z, I wouldn't call a sports car either. You wouldn't? I just, no. I, I love putting. I just put in coupes that were manuals. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think then that there's an opportunity in Ely? This question is mostly for you because you actually do kind of buy cars and work on them and sell sell money or sell them for good money. Do you do you think that there's an advantage to investing in cars with manuals? Like you seek them out because there's going to be more demand down the road since they'll be so hard to find, or is it truly going to be? like an albatross around that car's neck that no one wants that stuff. Like, Which way is that going to go for car That's collectors? That's a great question. It depends on the timeline you're talking about. If you're talking 50, you know, 30 years, you're talking five years. You know what I mean? I mean, I can see there's a lot of youth that don't give a shit about that. They don't want that. They can't drive that. Um, but, I mean, I, I can tell you, I'm looking at older M3s over newer ones because they have yeah. manual. Like the next car I want to buy will be a manual, so I'm like, I'm again, I'm limited as to what I can get. But do you think in the long run? So say 20 years from now, okay, you're sitting on that particular M3. Let's call it a 2000. Only car people will want in manuals, right? But since they'll be harder to find, are you going to be able? Because you know how they always say, if the top goes down, the price goes up, right? It's harder to find a convertible, but a convertible is a far more accessible option than a manual transmission. So. Do you think that it'll carry that same kind of weight down the road? Like, oh, shit, you did get a manual. Or will it truly have aged out and the market doesn't want it and now you can't sell that car? Well, it's, I think it's, it's the rarity. Made. I mean, every car that has a value is because there's less made of it. I mean, that's. So then, but that that, that goes back to the old, you got to find the right buyer, which yes. can make things more difficult. But it's funny because I need to find the right two buyers. Yeah, <laughs> to pit against each yeah. other. Yeah, it's a very. Fair I can see the value going up and the demand for that going up. Um, you know, so that's a gamble, but one that you should consider as you know you start to buy older cars if you think you're going to sell them down the road for more. True, you're looking for that 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 manual transmission. But we're not in the coll- we're not collectors, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I just I just wonder if already you're starting to see that though, like. Like, so those Jeeps nowadays, you know, they all, ever since the four-door came out, everyone's just buying automatics. Yep. It's, it's really hard to find, like, a manual transmission. I think, honestly, what's going to be likely is that it's going to go the other way, that people are going to... In the immediate. And I'm not just talking about the younger crowd that aren't into cars, but car people are going to start to realize and see how much better 
those automatics are then they can be around the track and stuff like that. Absolutely. So they may start to gravitate towards it. The automatic. Yes. Yeah, and I think Whereas they see, dude, it, sh- it shaves a half second off my time around the track. Right. It is what it is. It's awesome. I mean, Corvette and, and the Mustang wouldn't not have manuals if they weren't like, look, it's just a far superior right. setup. Exactly. It's like that's why we're Well, that's we're what I was going to ask because racing has always been manuals. Right. And well, I no, assume- they, they use like uh, they use the Tiptronic where it's like you just tap a, sh- a sh- paddle and yeah. it shifts the gear. So they've taken the clutch out of it. So even in that stage, there's no clutch mm-hmm. or there is a clutch. It's just you're not engaging. engaging. Right. Yeah. Because even in NASCAR, they're doing that. Right. You just shift. Oh, really? It. Yeah. You match the RPM and just shift. Interesting. Because yeah. I'm, you know, as electric cars come to be, and you all know that's where I stand. I believe yeah. everything's going to be electric sooner than later. You know, they don't have gears at all. Right. Well, some of them, the new Porsche has two gears. Oh, it does? Yeah. How does, so it actually they, shifts? Like they, a low and a well, high. it's like a low and a high, So, which they say is awesome because it can, you know, it's I top see. end. And so that allows it to be more efficient on the highway? Well, no, it allows it to be do better on the track. Because hmm. it can either rev up a shit ton or Yeah, they, exactly. Okay, I get that. Different ratio for highway I think, driving or I whatever. I think the electric cars are coming. Like, I'm... No. I'm of the belief that in 20 years... Well, of course they're coming, but... You won't even be able to buy a gas I can car. tell you, though, if you go on a lot of car boards and things like that, there's at least... I mean, I would say two-thirds of the people are still like, yeah, fuck that, but I want to feel like I'm in yeah. a car. Yeah, but those people are going to age out in the same way no, that no, the I'm manual No, two-thirds of the people on those boards. Currently. Right, but they're not like... in 10 like, years, it'll be different. Mm. Yeah, I mean it'll. Be, yes, it'll. There's no denying it'll be different, but I, I guess what I'm saying is, is that it's not. I mean, it's I not re- as far down the hill yeah. as you would think. If you like driving, yeah. you like operating a manual. It's part of driving. Like, yeah, yeah but the electric cars are going to kill that even more. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's going to be. It's kind of like the purest. I remember when I first got into the when BMW went to. The electric, basically gas pedal. It wasn't yeah. on a tension drive wire. by wire. Yeah. It was. And it wasn't drive by wire. It was all electric. No, it is drive by wire. It wasn't. Or yeah, yeah I whichever way it flipped. You. you could. There was no difference between when your foot was just touching it or when you had it on the floor. Yeah. And I was like, this is this is weird. And then they, now you get into an electric car, you don't hear it. Nothing. Well, that's There's how no- our Denali is. It's like the the steering is all electronic, so you don't feel the mechanical linkage when you steer. well there is no physical linkage anymore right, from exactly. the steering wheel so to like the wheels my, my chevy has the electrical assist oh okay it's and it went out on me one time and i was oh, like really? oh shit what, where'd my power steering go and like oh no you still got power steering it's just it's not being electrically assisted yeah, yeah. by a motors turning helping turn interesting but, but uh, you know i remember when i was you know when i was turning getting 16 turning my license the half everybody's argument was you need to learn how to drive a stick in case you did in case you're stuck somewhere. Yeah, you know. Well, Which, that's not the case anymore. Yeah, no, for the it's most only part. if you're stuck in a third world country. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's like thank yeah. God I can do that. Yeah, because I don't have that argument for my daughter now when she gets her license. It's like, oh, you need to drive a stick. I guess what I'm saying is, I think the amount of people that are going to fully adopt electric is way tinier than you think. In other words, I agree. People will drive Teslas and love them, but they're still going to have hot rods. I just think, well, it's nowhere near as fast to have a standard petrol engine well it depends on what you mean by fast because it is it's low end or top end top end they are i mean a tesla is three seconds zero to 60 yeah so that's quickness that's different than okay than you're saying okay yeah. i got you i got you yeah. whereas the porsche by putting a gear in there has well even kind of negated that petrol, like if you if you get in if i get in my car right now and i go and race against a tesla they're going to be quicker to 80 from 80 to 140, I'm going to go buy, buy them. That, I've actually seen that. I've watched a lot of 0-60 to 60 races. They always win. Yeah. But you start getting into, like, quarter mile. Yeah. And the gap starts to it does. to change dramatically. Yeah. And if you go beyond the quarter mile, yeah. then the petrol engine always right, wins. Right, right, right. So I have I have seen that. And there's something to be said for driving a gas That's vehicle. the thing. For like me. The roar of the engine. I totally agree. The feel agree. of it. Yeah. The, and that's what I'm talking about yeah. when I'm saying this. I think people... <laughs> We'll Car want people that. want that. If Definitely. they're allowed to have it, though. Definitely. Like Australia just said, what, by like 2030, they want no more gas cars. 
Like so. Well, when, that means that's no more gas cars produced. Yeah, but that at some point they all age out off the road. I no, mean, nah, you still have hot rods all day long that are forty years old. They'll just be more rare. Yeah, because all the new cars will now be electric at some point in time. Yes, but when you say all happen. the car, you mean cars made, not cars on that exist. Correct, brand yes. new cars. Yes. So, in my mind, I've been worried that twenty years down the road, gas stations will be harder to find. I don't know that this is the case, but I'm saying they'll be harder to find. Like, like if someone they'll has a in diesel demand. car, yeah, yeah. So there's less of them. Yeah, right. So they start to phase out. So I've been convincing myself that if I buy a new car. It should be electric so that I'm ahead of the curve as opposed to like stuck behind the curve. But just in the last two weeks, I've seen multiple reports come out that battery technology is changing at a tremendous rate. Yep. And they've got they've got batteries that literally last <coughs> twice as long in the same footprint. They're going to start coming out, you know, in a few years down the road, which now makes me hesitant because all of the electric cars that are produced today would be considered dinosaurs by new technology 10 years from now so it's like shit maybe you should you can't hold do out. that no you, you don't you, you don't can't think out. like that no no no. that's like saying because that's you can say I, that's like saying i'm not going to buy a cell phone because as one in five years is going to be dope as shit or a right that, like that, it's always, that's what i'm wrestling with but so it's always changing is what I'm you saying. can't keep up technology is always keep changing. Up gas power cars are the same yeah the technology in my 2005 that's right pilot that i'm still driving is nowhere near what's in my yeah. wife's 2015 when the 2013 gt500 mustang came out i was it was like the first one that could go 200 miles an hour i was like that is the fucking dopest car on the planet i'm gonna sell my soul to get one 2016 one to 20 i mean the 2020 one just came out and i could give a fuck less about the 2013 one now because it's the exact same situation because the 2020 is so much better yeah. so that's just going to happen throughout life and everything right. so you can't at the end of the day, you realize you can't just delay your whole. You can't delay everything, waiting for the well, right. Well, and that's one. precisely what I've started freaking out about. Is like, oh, maybe I shouldn't get electric, but then I'm like, well, shit, I shouldn't buy gas because that's fading out. And now I'm like, I'm gonna end up just stuck with a cyber truck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, I'd be good with the cyber. I would truck. too. Do you like the cyber yes. truck? You actually do. I really do. You so like the cyber the trucks. In, yeah. Okay. So let me get into that. So the cyber truck is interesting to me because I see it as it's not a truck. It's a DeLorean. I see it as a great example of like humans being stuck in their ways. So we look at it and we're like, it doesn't look like the trucks that we've made for 50 years. I can't yeah. wrap my head around it. So everyone's like, ooh, it's ugly. Yeah, of course it's ugly because it doesn't look like what you've well, seen for 50 years. Right. But, but I like, feel like a truck should have a bed that you can put stuff in. It, it does. does. I've never seen the back of it. Fuck yeah, it's got a bed. Dude, the, the, every picture of the back I've seen, it has a full body across yeah, and the back. That, so no, the, that's the, the, covered right there. Oh, where'd you go? It goes, it, it, it rolls up. How'd that so like, think of it like a, like a tonneau, tonneau cover. Yeah, tonneau, yeah. I don't know how I know you say that. About. It's like that, but metal. So it just kind of rolls down over it. But it, it comes out, and you do have a full bed. Okay, there. well, is it, that's not even a picture. That's a... Yeah, that's the rendering. Um... It's but a, everything about it. If you saw one of those on the highway next to you, you would literally follow okay. that asshole and be like, I need to look at this thing. Oh, yeah. I saw pictures the other day. He took it. Is that solar? Elon roof? took it out to Maybe. like Nobu for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. And seeing it next and to other cars. Into each other? Right. It dwarfs other oh, yeah, cars. It's, oh, yeah. way it's, bigger. He, it's heavy as shit, though. Yeah. But look at See, another interesting thing that people don't realize is look at all the body panels. Like you, you be putting body shops out of business because there's no body work to be done. Yeah, you just change out the panel. You know what I mean? Right. If you get a, a dent or scratch, you just put a new one on. And good luck denting it. Right. I mean, it's, it's stainless steel, isn't it? <laughs> Something like that. It's so, anyways, I my original thought was that come on, this is a made up. Looks like fucking belonged. It in. grows on. Did you. you see the meme that was like a? It was a crown drawing of the same truck. Yes. That said, yeah, Elon, Elon and AJ. Four. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. That's awesome. <laughs> but it does. It looks like something out of Halo, like a, like the video game. Oh, you know I mean, like it has. It needs a, a mini mini gun in the back. Yeah. I hadn't put that together, but that screams Halo. It does scream Halo. And there's another thing too that is all over. It looks people like people are Warthogs. talking about. I got so much to talk about. I'm surprised that Ford <laughs> agreed to this. Why would Ford agree to this? Yeah. Did they know Ford that was going to work? Well, they didn't agree to this. They agreed no. to another one though. Yeah. Like. This that was a dog shit one because Tesla used a two wheel drive Ford, yeah, and was pulling it uphill, so they have an advantage. 
So there was a back and forth. Ford, so Tesla said, all right, well, let's do a real one. You give, you bring your best truck, we'll bring the best truck, and Ford agreed to it. So I'm shocked that Ford would do that, which means they must have some up their sleeve. Well, they're um, going to lose because the Tesla is just so much heavier and has more torque. Right. Maybe they're hoping that they'll put up somewhat of a fight and they'll just get yeah. some bonus points by not getting molly The other locked. thing, too, that I've been talking about a lot is the whole bulletproof the windows thing which i think is people don't understand i think even tesla didn't understand it wasn't sold correctly so what happened was he's like they're bulletproof windows and he throws a string and it breaks that's what bulletproof glass does yeah yeah. right it did in reality what it was supposed to do they just didn't understand it doesn't let it through they didn't they didn't explain it correctly. It doesn't bounce so off. So I guarantee you there's engineers <laughs> at Tesla that are scratching their head like, dude, that shit did yeah. what it was supposed to do. You yeah. just sold it wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, because like, Elon's not the engineer. He right. Was just like, you're not making, break proof. Right. Exactly. It's proof of keeping things a- That's from exactly in. right. It didn't go through the window, which is what it's supposed to do. Like, So technically, I feel like, and I can't believe I'm, not, I'm the only one thinking this, but it seems to oh, me no. like it did what it was supposed to do. Yeah, I hadn't I hadn't really thought about it, but that's exactly you, you get, see. Yeah, bulletproof glass breaks. It's, it's not spiders. like it's unbreakable. It's you know spiders I mean? out. They didn't right. sell it like it was unbreakable glass. They said it was bulletproof glass. It's going to be an interesting truck, man. I can't wait to see it actually on the road. Yeah, some, I was arguing with somebody online. They're like, once the hype dies down, I'm like, the hype dies down? What are you talking about? <laughs> if you saw one of those drive next to you, I would follow that bastard into the parking lot of wherever he was going chat and him up. Ta- chat him up. Yeah. Everyone yeah. who, who w- would. For well, sure. It, the, oh, the hype is only dying and once there's tons of them on the road. Well, as soon as, all li- as, soon as the agree. hype dies down from uh, the Lambos, like, no, you right. see a Lambo riding next to you, you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, I mean, and we've all seen them. Yeah. But well, you then, still freak out when you see them. But then put that, it, combine that with something that an everyday person can afford, yes. and it's like, holy shit. And then the thing about the brilliance of the dude getting like a $100 million tax-free loan by getting... Mil- hundreds of thousands of people to pre-order these things oh, like yeah. he's right. seen all that stuff where it's he's like brilliant all he does is go into industries that he's going to get subsidies from the yes. government he but he just got p- people to pre-order it and put in a hundred dollar deposit and then he got like three hundred thousand pre-orders so he got this interest-free loan from all of these people <laughs> right that, yes your money's refundable but he's accounting for the fact that a ch- ch- chunk of them a are not going them, to do yeah. it yeah you know what i mean yeah so he just got a h- giant loan yeah, he's he's brilliant in how he does it. And everyone's like, "Oh, that's crazy talking." I'm like, "No, he's created loopholes, but every possible way." I I do feel that if they do produce them and they get, and they will be popular, like is it? I mean, I know there's a million Civics on the road, but there's a million different versions of them. Yeah. So how weird's it gonna be if you go out to the parking lot and there's literally a hundred Cyber Trucks there? Yeah. And you're like, which ones? Mine? Right. Right. Like, exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, look how many. <laughs> Teslas they're selling right now. Yeah. They delivered 112,000 Teslas in like December. Like, there's yeah. different colors and different options and different... There's at least three different body styles right now. I mean, like, but the, 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 the Cybertruck is going to get a ton of youth who would never buy a truck to buy a truck. Yeah. Oh, it's a game changer. It's huge, and it's badass. Dude, yeah. it sits on it's, 35. And it tows, like, 14,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah, it just yeah. showed it was... Uh, what's the payload on this guy? And it'll no, just get payload, better. what it tows. Towing 7,500... Oh, so for the single tri- motor, tri motor, that's 14, F1. Yeah, fourteen thousand pounds. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, good luck. Right. Good luck competing with that. But but Ford, I think part of the reason Ford's playing nice and like doing this, because Ford is already all in. They're coming out with that Mustang Mach E. Yeah. That oh, comes yeah. out this right. year. Yeah. So they're already embracing the whole electric car thing. I think they want to make sure that they're in the conversation with Tesla, even in this light, even if it's not a positive because they lost the the poll. But at least yeah. people are talking Ford versus Tesla. I think that was the logic of even losing that because you don't want Tesla talking about Chevys or Toyotas or anything like that. They're just talking about Tesla as it relates to Ford now. I think yeah. it was actually a good move because yeah. now they're going to come out with their Mustang and they can start saying, yeah, but in this instance, we did win. We're yeah. faster here or we're better here. Well, They're Ford's just been starting. the number one selling truck for like 60 years, so it's like. Right. It's been the number one selling vehicle, yeah. period. Yeah, the F-150. Yes, not yeah. even truck. It's the number one selling vehicle, period. In America. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But that's the beauty that of Ford. even when they sucked in the 90s. Yeah. That's the beauty of Ford losing that battle. They're at least their name is now associated with competing. That, no one else is competing. That tri-motor 
Yeah, dude. That's <laughs> is zero to sixty in two point nine seconds. Yeah, for in a ten a eight quarter mile. That's with thirty five inch tires. That's quicker to sixty than a Corvette, and it's about Corvette speed in the quarter mile. So you see that it slows down a little bit. Ten point eight in the quarter, dude. That's so fast. Like, re- presume it. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's insane. It's and then I was, bad. Brendan and I were talking about this. I think it was either last night or earlier. I just happened to see an ad for the brand new 2020 Chevy Silverado, like RTL, yeah. top of the line, Dude, ba- base su- price. Sweet truck. $84,000. For a truck. Trice, prices. prices are insane on vehicles, period. Yeah, Not true. Just tr- I mean, trucks are even worse. Like, oh, I've yeah. wanted a, a four door truck for the past five years, but. I can't bring myself to pay yeah. for one. I've you're never, not getting one for less than eight hundred a month unless yeah. you're putting twenty grand down. Yeah, and it's a truck. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean. Like luxury cars, you kind of get it. You're like, yeah. look at all this. Yeah, but they're luxury trucks. Yeah, though. N- yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. But it's still yeah. a truck. It's like, oh yeah, bumpy and like. Well, it's like rigid. I want I want to throw shit in the back of it. Like right. literally, maybe shit. Like I want to beat it up. I want to yeah. yeah. use it. Well, if you want to make your 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 car <laughs> smell more, like, you can borrow my fart to go. Fart to go. You know, yeah, bottle I'm, I'm of curious ass. If, I, he mentions that. I'm curious to see how the Cybertruck rides. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think it's got because it's, it's got be, air suspension, so it's going to ride great. It's so heavy. It's heavy. You know, if you saw though. that picture of the loading the down, motorcycle, yes, it lowers it. You can make it lower itself to load stuff easier. And that the nice. uh, the tailgate turns into a ramp, which is yes, pretty, pretty slides dope. out. They think of all that stuff because they're not playing in the same field. Well, it's like that's what Ely said, and it's what pisses him off, and I get it too because I've always, as a kid, when you see when you see these concept cars, I'm like, make that. Yeah. Even oh, when, of course. Even when they came out with the, uh, what was the awful one, the PT Cruiser, I was like, <laughs> make I'm it. just happy they're making something Different that's stuff. not a four-door yeah. sedan. Right. Like, yeah. well, this let's re- Go off the reservation a this little. This reminds me a little bit, even though it was the worst car ever made, but that Pontiac Aztec. Aztec, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh-huh. SUV that was. Well, ugly, that is the ugliest car ever. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> sure. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. But, I mean, you have to be thinking outside of the way you've been viewing trucks for the last 30 years to think that How you've been cool. taught to view yeah. trucks. If, if you have to realize that this dude's not trying to design something to look like a Ram. He's not trying to do that. Then and that, they're and, all competing with each other. Bigger right. grill, bigger and by grill. by doing, doing that, that's what's going to make, like, I think that's what's going to make it successful. Yeah, Ford's I biggest agree. thing was like, let's put some curves on yeah. it. Yeah. And then they're like, that sucks. They're let's literally the selling yeah. trucks yeah. based this on is, a better tailgate these yeah. days. Yeah, this, oh, is, yeah. this is exactly the idea of uh, all functionality, no design. Yeah. And, yes, it's designed this way maybe for better aerodynamics or whatever, but He's just throwing the look out the window and saying, this truck's going to do everything your current truck does, but better, better. I don't even know he's throwing the look out the window. No, in the end, it grows on you. Yeah. But it is very much a DeLorean. I wonder what it looks like from the inside. Inside, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm talking about to drive it. Like, it looks yes. like the visibility would suck in it. And that probably would be. Not. So but he's probably got cameras on the outside. Yeah. yeah. So oh, if, yeah. if you look, there's no mirrors. Yeah. Right. Which is illegal. Right? Yeah. You have to have mirrors, yeah. which means there has to be something else going on in there where yeah. you're seeing what's everything you, you need to see or it wouldn't be street legal. So or this rendering is not like what's going to be. Yeah. Like there's no door handles, but there's no door handles on a typical uh, yeah, there Tesla. Is. I mean, you have to walk oh, up yeah, and there then they, they come yeah. out. So they are there. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. You walk up and once you get close to it, they yeah. they come out like two inches. And right. then you grab them. So I mean, that's. But if you listen to the most recent Matt Farah Rogan podcast, Matt Farah um, does a lot of, I don't want to say bashing, but he's very skeptical, basically. Well, some people think stuff, that this is a is a ruse. I don't believe. Well, it. I don't know that. No, no oh, I mean I they're going to be selling trucks. But I mean, he's like, you know, you promised the Roadster, right? Two years ago, we haven't seen one. No, nope. you know, like they're way behind. They haven't like just more, much more of Elon being Elon and like sh- talking out yeah. of his ass than. But it that's is anything. what he does. I mean, but that's, if you go on true right. entrepreneur, if you go to some of these sites where people are talking about the Teslas, the number one complaint is interior. Well, not about the car, like long term maintenance. Company wise, oh yeah, the the maintenance, the shops, like you can't. It's not just a f- easy fix. No, you have to go to Tesla. Yeah. there's only one guy that I'm aware of. I'm certain there's. More he was on others. Rogan. The guy, yeah, the guy who actually, and he's, yeah. he opened salvage, his own garage. Salvage and parts and stuff yeah. from all the dead ones. Yeah, 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 I saw that. But that's the only guy that I know that's actually doing that that's outside of the Tesla universe to work on these cars. But, yeah, but if you, I'm sure if he touches your car, Tesla's going to say, well, you voided. Warranty. Sure, yeah. sure. 
And but there it is, the better tailgate. <laughs> but from Jesus. all for all intents and purposes, electric cars are proving to be far more reliable from a cost perspective. Yep. Than gas cars because you don't have all those moving components of the engine. Really, all you have is a suspension that wears out and breaks. And that's and the only thing I haven't done is looked at, and I'd love to hear from any listeners that own Teslas. Like, I would love to know what the change on your utility bill is from ch- from charging. charging. It. Yeah. I don't have it, and I know someone's done it out there. I just have never Googled it or looked it up. But I want to know what. Yeah, are you really saving money? Well, yeah, you'll save. Yeah, you have to save money because compared to gas. But I'm I mean, sure I would how think much. so. But how much? Yeah, yeah there's no way. It can't I mean, cost you. Fifty dollars, right? It's to not going to be better. Like, like I mean, it's it not going to be worse. Fifty dollars to fill right. I sure. did read an article that said, w- regardless of the model, electric Teslas, all Teslas north of like, if you're if you live north of Chicago, yeah, north, cold, I hate cold, it. you lose your power. Like you, it, everything drops ridiculous, and then yeah. you won't even be able to drive it. Right, absolutely. You lose your your yeah your because distance. batteries lose. Yeah, reg- it doesn't matter what kind cold. of battery you're coming up with. The cold is going to kill technology, it. technology, yeah. So they're going to be, a, it's a warm weather car. Yeah. Well, or they'll design heaters a, or something he like that. He has a picture of it on the beach, so that, that adds <laughs> up. Yes, it does. <laughs> so there should be an F-150 uh, Tesla Cybertruck tow-off coming up publicly soon. They're coming out with an electric Jeep Wrangler. They're coming out with a hybrid, hybrid, I don't know. And it's it's, it's ID, not ED. Hybrid. Red R E A D R I D hybrid. You were right. right. So they have the hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Coming out uh, this year for the Wrangler, and then they're talking about an all-electric Wrangler in the next like couple years. So yeah, it's all coming. Wrangler, though, Wrangler's in my opinion, has gone really soft in the past few years. Like they, I, they, I don't think they're making vehicles for off-roading anymore. They're just making suburban they're, they're chick, mobiles. They're chick vehicles. They're, all, they're, they're selling more four-cylinders than six-cylinders, and it's just... Well, they yes, just they're came all, out with a diesel this year. They're all four-wheel for, drive, but for they're the all ur- weak. They're all the weaker. urban conquest. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. right. I got to get over this speed bump. <laughs> Watch yeah, this. Right. Put it in low. <laughs> yeah, add your gadgets and your gasmos to the outside to make it look awesome. Paint yeah. green, maybe yeah. even yeah. pink. I'm, I'm, I've been looking at older Wranglers. It's got to be the like, number one aftermarket like yeah. industry. Well, oh yeah. You know what I mean? You could almost build an entire Jeep from yes. the aftermarket Trinkets and shit so, that you, know, you they, put on there. If you go battle the, axes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Jacks. If, if you go yep. to the Jeep dealer, Mopar sells all those parts now too. Yeah. So you can go in there and get a Jeep off the lot and go, I want a sanctioned four inch lift. Yeah. With this bumper and this you can do all that right at the dealership now. Which is one of the things that has been good. Dealerships were smart to do that. There's a lot of people doing that, buying lifted trucks these days yeah. where lifted by the dealer. By yeah, because now you have a warranty yeah. Yeah, off the lot. Exactly. I and mean, that's that's critical. Because you would yeah. buy it and then you'd take it to Billy Bob and right. he'd, yeah. he'd jack it up and then you go in and they're yeah. like, well, We're not gonna fix your steering. Look at this ridiculous. Exactly car. right. Yeah. Well, so. and you start like doing it and put the big mud tires and lift it and it's like messing up your odometer and like yeah just whacking up everything yep it's overpriced anyways and they'll even jack up the price more when they go electric exactly for sure that's why if you buy a vehicle everybody knows buy one at the end you know when they like right now is a great time to buy a vehicle because they got all the 20s are in yep. and they're trying to get rid of the 19s you can bend them over for a 19 right now close out yeah which are still sweet they are they're awesome Unless you're of the belief that all the electrics are coming and it's over. Yeah. I need to get over it. I, I think actually. Are you going to, are you looking at getting a Model 3 or something? I just keep or looking at, I keep looking at used Teslas. Yeah. Because they've come down in price dramatically. What's a used Tesla go for? You can actually get like the S, which is like. The one you want. The big high end one. But it's also the one that's been out since 12. So it's, the look is dated. Uh-huh. But you get them down in the 20s. And I'm talking, and that's a bad vehicle. How old are the batteries on it? That's the thing. I don't. There's no. There's no concept about when the batteries will start to yeah, shit the like, bed. Yeah, they're like. It's like seven ish years. Seven. So the it new used to be ones, five, but I think it's well, like seven. To what's the 10 cost now. of new batteries? Cost thousands. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's five that's going to be the biggest expense in them. But they're saying these new batteries they're coming out with are like over a million miles before you see any degradation. Wow. So when those come out, like. That's amazing. You know, it's going to be. Well, be careful when someone sells on degradation because that means they're cleverly not selling on failure. 
All they're saying is that I didn't think about that. All that they're right. telling you is that you're not going to lose performance per mile, like you know what I mean, per charge, yeah. which is has nothing that you're not just saying shit about failure. You're just yeah. saying performance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, they're going to fail. Yeah, <laughs> right. At some point. Yeah, but, but until then, it'll perform like it did the yeah, whole time until you had then, it. Yeah. yeah, then you'll be good to go. Yeah. So and you got to go on Tesla's website, right? Or no, you get them on Car Gurus now. Or like you got to go on Tesla's website to find used Teslas, right? Doesn't look like it. No, but see, all right. So Stu just pulled one up. It's like thirty grand. As this as is Carvana. As get. Car Gurus. That's seventy-five thousand miles. That's not for bad. Five-year-old Model S. And that's that's exactly what I would I would want. Now that's a lot of money for a car, but that's a bad vehicle, man. Yeah. Like they're they're pretty amazing rides. I've never even been in one. Every, Either have I. Every yeah. one I've been in, you sit there and you're just like, holy shit. Like, the interior yeah. is completely sparse. There's nothing there. Giant screen. Everything goes through the screen. There's no buttons. Yeah. It's all yeah. touch screen. So if that fails, you got a problem. Yeah. You know, you're banking on a computer. You can use your phone to start it instead of your but key. When someone, your but when someone guns it in that thing, oh, dude. it's Rocking. surreal. Yeah. Yes. It's sur- you're, you're in the seat, yeah. like, instantly. With no sound, it's surreal. That's the weird part is the no sound. It's just, yeah, yeah all of a sudden just they, just, noise. they just hit yeah. it, and now it's you're like just. It's like a golf cart that hauls yeah. ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's really odd, but you should get in one, and you might just you might just find yourself being like, oh, that's really pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I just, like, I think about cars all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you it's, do. It's, it's my it's, curse. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, Ely yeah. and I got the same problem <laughs> on that front. Like, we're constantly... Talking cars, looking at cars. And now you you assholes out there listening have been subjected to it for 30 yeah, minutes. You're welcome. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> because it's Sunday morning, I'm thinking about cars. Yeah. But most of them don't give a fuck. They just want to go out there, turn their shit on, and have it work. Yeah. That's a nice feature. Yeah. It's the number one feature in a car. It starts it and goes. And, new car, and almost all new cars do it. They it's do. crazy. Right. Yeah. It used to be like, oh, you got a Honda or a Hyundai or like right. you got a Kia. Now it's like. Hondas are nice. Yeah. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yes, it is very interesting. A new Telluride. You should look at one of those. New Telluride. <laughs> Have you the seen Kia? those? Yeah, they're badass. Yeah, they they're are. Badass. I haven't even seen one. But I already got my wife the big SUV. Oh, yeah. So, you know. But you have an SUV, too. That's why I brought it up. Yeah, but I'm thinking about... We'll see. There's going to okay. be a huge shift. I think the entire yard is going to look different, minus the Miata, because you know, that's for life. Okay. <laughs> I'm all in on that's that. That's a lifestyle. Life. You got that right. That's right. It's something like that. Thanks, Troy. <laughs> Good to have you here. It's good to have everybody that listens to this show here. We thank you guys so much for tuning in. Keep spreading the word. Let people know that you're listening to Inside the Pallet House and uh, pull the old Cincinnati SWAT. Reach over, grab their phone, and sign them up. I would love to have more listeners. We're on a hot streak right now. Let's keep that going because I think for that, sure. would be, uh, that would be a positive. I like, I like where the numbers are trending, in all honesty. It's uh, not a bad sign. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking with us for the last four years, five years we're coming up on. Coming up on, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it's crazy. We're doing this for far too long. So speaking of, if you want to uh, send us any money, Troy was generous enough to set us up with a Venmo account. It's uh, at Inside the Pallet House at Venmo. You can send us money. We'd be glad to use that for really important stuff. Coffee beers. Yeah. And uh, you can always reach out to us on Facebook or on the email account, which is at, in, or at geez, I'm crow, <laughs> Inside the Pallet House podcast, right? Or Inside the Pallet House at gmail.com. Inside the Pallet House Jeez, I can't keep up with this stuff. Inside the Pallet House at gmail.com. Or you can always find us at ITPH Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We certainly do appreciate the support. We'll be talking to you soon. Cheers. Later. So that was a pretty good podcast, don't you think?